Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Restituto, and I'm a musician from Northport, New York. And I'm super pumped that you guys enjoyed the SB19 reaction breakdown to their song, What, here on the channel. Take it a step further, we are breaking down and reacting to how the producer, Simon Servita, made the song. And not only that, to take it even a step further, by the time you're probably watching this video, if you have not heard already, I've already interviewed Simon Servita on this channel. Man, it was a crazy course of events. Blake McLean reacted to this. I saw it while I was kind of just looking around, getting ideas for what I should, you know, check out, react to, potentially maybe new, new video ideas to the channel. Blake McLean reacts to it. I see it. I'm like, hmm, let me check this out. I start watching this guy's video. I'm like two minutes. I'm like, this is pretty sick. I should react to this song. It's pretty cool. I react to the song. I reach out to Simon Servita, Servita Music. He responds very quickly. And he's like, hey, I'm down today. I'm like, perfect. Sounds good. I'll see you soon. So if you are and have not seen it already, definitely go and check out after this video. Go and check out my interview with Simon. I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna, I'm actually filming it in like a couple of minutes. So I wanted to watch this video and, 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 and see the breakdown of how he made it. So I can get, just get a little more insight into it. And I figured, you know what? Why not react to it too? So you guys can enjoy the pro like just a little bit of extra thoughts that I have about it. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. As always, if you have not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. If you want to check out my music, Jacob Restitute, wherever you listen. And let's see what we got. This is how Simon Servita, Servita Music, and I hope I'm pronouncing that properly, produced a number one song in the country, SB19. What? 500k views in three hours? That's me. That's my name. <laughs> I made this. What's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Simon Servita. In this video, I'm going to show you how I produced the single for the number one boy band in the country, No Cap. Which country? Philippines, which is really cool because my ethnicity is Filipino. I was born in Canada, but both my parents are Filipino. The group is called SB19. They're a P pop group that stands for Pinoy Pop. And the single I love I that Pinoy Pop, man. I love that. It's like it's it, it, I like that. It's just clever. I'm give you guys a really cool. detailed breakdown on the song, and I'm also going to give you guys a behind the scenes on how we worked on it. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Yo, it sounds now, like a mad fun guy. This is one of the most challenging projects I've ever had to work on. For a lot of reasons, we'll get into that later. But let's start at the beginning. Like, how did I get the opportunity? I love his, there his is energy. There's a member on the group called Pablo. This is Pablo's face right here. He does a bit of production himself, so I guess he stumbled across a couple of my YouTube videos. I should reach out to them and see if I can get them on the channel. And then he reached out to me. He was like, what's up? I said, what's up? You said, you're trying to make something? I said, mm, maybe, perhaps. For the workflow, it was a lot of back and forth DMing. And then on occasion, I'd get on a Zoom call with him and his brother, Josh. Here's what Pablo sent me at the very beginning. We just started with the demo file. So all we have here is the top line and the guitar under it. Very different from what we hear now, actually. No, my bad. I didn't know it was gonna be fresh like that. to be completely honest, I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> I'm Filipino. I thought I knew Tagalog. But looking back, apparently I only know Tagalog that's used in a household setting. <laughs> so if somebody can translate this, I'd really appreciate it. There's actually a switch up in the song. So it goes from 112 BPM to 112. This is fascinating. The 96. I never had to work on a song. With that's hard to, to transition like that. To, to make a song that goes from two different tempos is very, very hard, actually. It's, so it's highly impressive that, they, they, like, first of all, that they would go for that. You don't typically see that in pop music. And then to, for him to actually be able to produce something like that, that's amazing. Before. So this was, this was tough for me. We're going to just try to flesh this out. Bro, the, the quality I... of this video is amazing. Like, he did a really, really, really good job at, like, the edits, the the text, the the... the all these different little ad libs he did inside this video is very well so done. This was, this was tough for me. We're gonna just try to flesh this out because I listened to this once and I'm already really, really stuck. Like, how do we get back there? That's a. What? And then the chorus, which is nice. Oh, building up. So he's building up some piano chords right there. I believe this is FL Studio. It looks like what he's using, which has is very common to have this this uh this piano uh like roll like this this uh drum. That's what I'm looking at. Like this drum machine kind of thing is very uh, distinct to uh, uh, FL Studio. That's cool. Yo, this drum sounds sick, man. This is cool. This is the more hip hoppy part. I don't know if this is, uh, this is the rock. very typical to Jacob Restituto that 
needs to get better at <laughs> naming my tracks, man. Oh, Holy mackerel. So I sent him that I'm first so idea, and it was pretty much wrong. Because <laughs> I had the hip. Well, let's see. I was thinking more of a total turn up. That's funny. Pop That's and the rock funny. part switched around. He said it should be similar to We Will Rock You. So I said, oh, okay. So once I realized it was switched <laughs> the wrong way, then I made this one more rock inspired. Now we have the electric guitars. Hold up. That was all MIDI. That's fascinating. If that, if he kept that and there's no real guitars in that, I would be very surprised. And then I'm also trying to like keep it a little bit modern. So I use That's more crazy. pop sounding drums. I commented on that in the reaction. The mix between rap and, and We ended and up using a lot of this for the end like of the song, rock. but for the main chorus, this wasn't it. First chorus, pause, second chorus, pause, and then after the bridge chorus, Pause and then another chorus with continuous beat, like the half happy one. It's funny because you probably heard me and a bunch of other producers say, simplicity is key. Keep it simple. Don't want to do too much. But for them, it's the complete opposite. They want everything. They ask yeah. for a lot more complexity, which is like really refreshing. Pablo told me you should- Truth, man. That's actually interesting. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Pop and group songs, whenever there's a change in member, then there's also a change in sound. So for this group, mm. there's like five members. Interesting. I've noticed that. I just never put that, like, been able to put that to words. I've noticed oh, that's interesting. I've noticed in like K-pop, um, that like especially like BTS, like there's different sounds throughout the song, and I've noticed that I've never really been able to put that to words. That's fascinating. So we're really changing it up every eight bars or so. Yeah. There's a part later on in the song where they do a dance break, and they told me. You know, you can go crazy because we actually need something to dance to. I'm giving you the perks, I'm giving you the fills, I'm giving you the slides just so that they can do a little of this, do a little of this. But let's take a look at some of these demos. I also had a lot of trouble figuring out the verses. Oh, they kept the demos, the tempo cool. 112 is in this weird spot That's where smart. it can sound good either half-timed or double-timed. It can be slow like this. Hear that pitched hi-hat? Or we can make Sweet. that twice as fast with something like this. Let me show you some of these attempts. Ooh. Not gonna lie, that's pretty dirty though. I like that. Oh, this attempt was weird. Listen to this one. That's interesting. Yo, that's kind of cool. It's got a bit of the more of the uh, the uh, what's it called, the K-pop feel to it. There was around two like arrangements, and I think at around arrangement five is when we had a and good idea of what the song's gonna be. And then after that, it was just fine tuning, fine tuning, fine tuning. For the verse, we ended up going with this really spaced out brass melody. I'm surprised how much MIDI he used, man. You layer that with this high lead thing. Yeah. For this one, the drums are really simple because we wanted to drop it halfway in. I love that he filmed this video. It, like, I love BTS, like the behind the scenes uh, stuff. So like, I like B B BTS doesn't be define as behind the scenes. Uh, I love I love making it. I love watching it, and I love that he did it, man. So good. And he's so animated. It's fun, man. Yeah. Same pattern as this one, the first one, but this one is um like. Cut, cut, but this one is continuous. So. Gotcha. And then during the second half of the verse, we have the brass melody that does a lot more. He's great at creating these like capital siren arrangements. The drums man. are doing a lot more as well. Oh, nice halftime kind of feel. For yeah. the second verse, it's really similar to the first verse, except we got rid of the brass, and instead we just replace it with every single percussion known. To Bro, you don't see how many tracks are in that? Man. Oh my gosh! Yeah. This thing, weird filtered percussion loops, more percussion loops. Oh, you hear that filter Glass moving in there? That's interesting. Snare stuff, whatever this is. Hi hats, more hi hats. Some really glitchy toms, more percussion, more fills, 
and then during the second half, it's like the first verse. Here's an example of the workflow. So I just send him a Dropbox link with the song, and then he just sends me back a list of notes. Make it sound grimy, maybe try a new melody, maybe put in a new instrument. It's hard working with for clients, man, because like you have what you think is good and they have what they want. So it's like trying to find the balance between the two is very, very interesting. I think that should be a first. We decided for the chorus I love that, that he it filmed this. really big and kind of cinematic. So I added these massive, massive toms to just kind of drive the rhythm. I'm highly impressed with his MIDI ability. It's hard to make MIDI sound real, man. He did a great Everything job with that. Everything just following that. I like the syncopation, emphasizing that upbeat. Some chance. Oh, nice. For the intro, they wanted the main melody of the hook, but that turned into this big marching band brass idea. I think this was the first attempt. Yeah, I like that though. But then he said it sounded a bit too happy. It should be a lot darker. So mm. what I did instead was I kind of rewrote the melody so that it sounded a bit darker. The original melody is like this. And then what I did was... Mm. And wow, hey, it's some really out. interesting dissonant chords. I gotta hurry up this reaction. The I, my interview with him starts in 13 minutes, so <laughs> we still got five minutes left in this video. Oh yeah, it's way darker. Wow, dude, these MIDI horns sound unbelievable. Horn Do you hear the expression that he's put in there? That's that's a big difference. Creating that that expression, the 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 extra the the that's what a real horn the the um dynamics is real to a horn, and you lose that often in MIDI. He did a good job with that. And then just some yeah. marching band style drums to go with it. I love the percussion work, man. So good. Man, one of the reasons this was such a difficult project was because I was being stupid. As you saw before, we went through a bunch of arrangements and different yeah, demos. This guy's mad since cool. I'm so lazy, instead of deleting all these instruments, I just kept adding them onto the project. And then it was just this big file where there's too many plugins and there's too many sounds and every single track in my mixer chain is used up. It was just a lot of me wasting time waiting for stuff to load and then it ended up crashing and I'd lose entire hours just trying to render stuff out. It was a lot of this. A little blue circle and just no. praying this thing doesn't crash. I don't think this one's gonna open. Guys, don't be like me, be organized. Let's take a look at some of the dance break attempts. Yeah, I wanna be this guy's like. friend, man. Yeah. Yo, these things sound huge though, man. The drum groove was pretty much there. It was mainly just finding what's gonna be on the top melody. What is this one? Oh, this one, I like this one. Bro, that's grimy. Oh, this one is hard. This one is hard. The beauty is like you could kind of like remix these a little and turn them into new songs for your next thing. Then they for wanted next the dance thing. to be twice as long and they told me during the second half, just kind of go crazy on the drum arrangement. I ended up doing this thing where like the first half is trap and then the second half is more of like a reggaeton deal. Hmm. Hmm. And then there's a bunch of weird like fails. On Bro, his like, drums are <laughs> dirty hits, man. <laughs> yeah, like this melody was cool, but it didn't sound like anything from the rest of the song. So we decided that it should kind of sound similar to the intro I made. No copyright. No copyright song, song over here. After that, we have like these high horns that come in. High horns, high horns, in the no copyright song. Okay, okay, no copyright song through the dance. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, 
a lot of same old back and forth. Back no and forth, copyright Dropbox, song. Dropbox we make little changes, little changes until we got to like the final product. Let's check the info really quickly. 91 hours and 45 minutes. Whoa. Are you insane? That's like... 24, 48, 72, 9. That's almost four entire days. They got it sent for mixing, crazy. and then they gave it back to me to do a bit of the final mix, and then it got sent off to mastering, and that was everything from my end. And here we are, the premiere day. I haven't seen this yet. 500k views in three hours. That's me. That's my name. Let's go. I made this. <laughs> no way. Man, I don't even... It's kind of hard to believe right now. Yes, sir. It's been <laughs> three hours. Look at all these reactions. Wow. I gotta watch all of these. This is gonna take up my whole day. <laughs> Their fan base is insane. Oh my. Oh my guys, are you. How come you guys don't do this for my videos? Yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. <laughs> well, hey, Simon, I, I got you, bro. Really this is the biggest project I've ever been a part of. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't feel real. I have to give a big thank you to Pablo for giving me the opportunity. Shout out to everybody who worked on it. If you want to see the full video, that's gonna be in the description. Just do a little favor for me and blow it up. If you're wondering if we're gonna work again, the only thing I can say is maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna watch more reactions now. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. Oh, if you shout like out, this video, bro! I got you, bro. Really like this video, subscribe. Mad if you didn't funny. like this video, leave. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have not seen my interview with him, it is in. I'm filming it in eight minutes. So, hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you are, definitely subscribe. Simon, I'm really looking forward to chatting with you. Have a great day. God bless and peace out.